Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. And good morning from Lahore, Pakistan. I'm Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokhar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. And continuing with the topic of thanatology, I will be discussing today, today forensic entomology. And the learning objective of this lecture will be that in this lecture, I will discuss about the forensic entomology and what is the importance of forensic entomology in crime investigation. And we'll study the life cycles of various insects which help us in crime investigation. And how they help, we'll study in this lecture. So forensic entomology, as we know, the entomology is a branch of zoology which deals with the study and knowledge of the insects and flies about their habits and the life cycle. And forensic entomology is the study of insects in arthropods that form the evidence in legal cases of forensic investigation. By studying the insect population and the developing of their larval stages, the forensic scientist can estimate the post-mortem index, any change in the position of the body and the cause of death. It is priceless addition to the investigation of suspicious death. And it has assisted in conviction of many criminals since its inception. Many things can be determined through the presence or absence of the insects on human remains. So regarding the importance of forensic entomology, the forensic entomology is considered as the most accurate method for the estimation of time elapsed since death, particularly when more than three days have been passed. And the larva of blue flies are also used extensively in forensic entomology, predominantly to establish the minimum time elapsed since death. Now the appearance of the maggots. The putrefied material attracts flies and they move over the body. Flies lay their eggs and they hatch in 18 to 36 hours, especially in open wounds, natural orifices, nose, mouth, eyes, and vagina, and anus. And there they lay the eggs in 24 to 36 hours when the foul smelling gases are emitting and the flies are attracted. And then these flies when they lay egg, they change into larva and into pupa and the adult flies. And this time varies with the type of fly and the temperature. So the life cycle of flies, they lay eggs in 18 to 36 hours. That is the period when the body is putrefying, emitting foul smell and attracting flies. And the eggs then will be hashed into larval stage in next 24 hours. And the pupa will be formed in next four or five days. And in next four to five days, the adult flies will be formed. And it varies upon various uh, flies. This is an approximate life cycle from the egg to the adult fly. So the time period varies according to the time of, type of the fly and the temperature of the environment because the hot environment will facilitate and the cold environment will retard. So this is a picture of the larvae creeping on the dead body. So <clears throat> the house fly or the musca domestica, this is common house fly. And this is showing the larval uh, uh, life cycle of the common house fly, the eggs, the larva, the pupa, and the adult. 
the time period, the eggs, they hatch into larva in six to 12 hours, then larva into pupa in three days and pupa into adult fly in three to four days. So maximum time taken at different temperatures, 49 days can be at 16 degrees centigrade, 21 days in 21 degrees centigrade, 16 days in 23 degrees centigrade, and seven to eight days in 35 degrees will uh, change the life cycle. Now regarding the green bottles or the Lucilia species, this is the green bottle fly. And this is another picture of the green bottle. These are the flies which are usually seen on the uh, fruits. Female lay their eggs on the mouth, decaying and the decomposing material. And material, foul smelling wounds of the human and the animals. And the time period of this fly is the eggs, they hatch into larva in eight hours and the larva into pupa into eight to four to eight days, and the pupa into adult flies in six to eight days. Now the blue bottles or cellifore species, this is blue bottle, and this is also the blue bottle fly. A female lay egg in foul smelling wounds in the hospital underneath the bandages, Regarding the time period of this fly, the eggs into larva into eight hours, the larva into pupa in four to eight days, and the pupa into adult fly in six to 12 days. Then the chrysome species, chrysome species. The time period of this fly is that eggs into larva into eight to 24 hours, and the larva into pupa into five to six days, and pupa into adult flies in seven to 10 days. So these are various times of the uh, life cycle of the various. Now the other sequelae also, uh, beside these uh, put effective changes, the other complications are also going on. That is the beetles, the vultures, the dogs, and other animals, they get attracted to the uh, fortifying body and they uh, also destroy, dismember and eat up the parts of the body and they also facilitate or help the destruction of the body. These are the beetles, the vultures and the dogs. These are the other animals which eat up the dead body and they hasten up the process of disintegration of the body. So summary of this lecture is that we have discussed the forensic entomology and we have learned what is the importance of forensic entomology in crime investigation and it helps in estimation of time since death. We look, study the life cycle and in which stage the uh, larva, the pupa or the young flies are, we can estimate from If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And my channel name is Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar, Lectures on Forensic Medicine. Thank you very much.